Hello friends, this is Mike here and you are watching Tech Food Reviews. So today we will be unboxing Xbox Series X and I'm really excited because this is my first Xbox ever. The last time I played game it was I think 2009, 2010 and then I got busy into work so I couldn't get a chance to play games. So I think the time has come to get some games and that's why I have bought Xbox. All right, so let's open it and uh, see what it has inside. Oops. Three. Open. All right, time to open the box. Let's see what we have inside. All right, so uh, first we got the user manual and there you go. Oops. Probably your dreams. This is the Xbox console. Yay. All right. So um, I'm really excited. <laughs> All right. We will cover uh, the details in a bit. But first, let's see what we have uh, in the box. What else? We have in the package, all right? So, we got a one HDMI cable, of course. One power cable, obviously. And here is the, oops, controller, right? Mm, all right, never mind. There we go. So this is the Xbox controller, looks really nice, really slim, and it has a really good grip, right? Um, joystick sort of controls, buttons, and battery, of course, they have also sent the battery. We'll add it at some point later in the video. All right, let's close this box. And now uh, let's see what specs it has and what things are offered in this Xbox Series X, all right? Okay, so first let's talk about the compatibility, all right? So if, if you have a Xbox Series S or X, both of them are backward compatible, that means you could use your old classic games um, into the series, right? You don't have to buy new games, right? Uh, plus it's uh, 299, uh, its price tag is 299. It was released in uh, probably November 2020 and it has 512 gig SSD drive that's built in right plus you can also use the uh, storage expansion uh, device uh, it's probably 200 plus dollars I'm not sure what's the exact price tag um, also it has HDMI cable USB and LAN just in case you need to you don't need to use the Wi-Fi connection but you wish to use the LAN cable for better speed or whatever other reasons, right? So power button and another USB port, right? Now, what else? Uh, the good thing about this uh, Series X is that uh, it has eight cores processor, uh, which is quite fast and at the speed of 3.4 GHz. Uh, also, the GPU is four T-flops uh, with 20 CUS. And as far as the memory is concerned, the memory is 10 GB uh, GDDR6, right? So it's a quite new model uh, of the RAM memory. And also, uh, in terms of video quality, uh, it offers Quad HD. Um, not obviously the 4K, but Quad HD is like four times uh, stronger than the HD, right? Which is very good. Uh, also, uh, it can process uh, like uh, frames at the speed of uh, 120 per second. Uh, it has a variable refresh rate VR and HDR. Uh, these both things make the quality of the games really good. Uh, sound is really good and also um, it has the built-in radio, I believe. I've, I've read it in the description. So I think that's pretty much for the compatibility. Now, 
what you have to do is oh oh yes and uh, it weights is uh, it's weight is roughly 1.9 kg or 4 4.2 lbs so it's pretty easy to carry around uh, the design is good it's slim you can maybe uh, you, if you're going backpack you can carry with you so that's really good thing right so now the question comes whether do you, do I have to buy Xbox Series X or Series S which one is best I'll tell you in a minute uh, first the price tag Xbox Series S is 299 USD right when it comes to Series X that's 499 that's like uh, that's more like $200 expensive than the Series X and one thing you might have noticed that is that it doesn't have the optical drive um, that means you have to download the games online and uh, you can't use the CD on it uh, for me for me it's a really good thing because uh, the bad thing about using the optical drive or CDs is that uh, of course uh, maybe you can borrow the old uh, CDs or old uh, used games from your friends uh, you can borrow or maybe you can buy online but the problem is that every time you play a game you have to uh, keep the disc inside so that's really problematic thing right I don't want that I want all my games within the Xbox so I don't have to switch the CDs that's why I prefer Series X um, it has 512 uh, GB uh, storage which is I think which is quite good um, I'll be I think easily carrying more than 20 games all at once right um, what else uh, I think we have pretty much covered all the specs so uh, now it's up to you that whether you want to go for um, series X or S uh, one more thing like if you're if you're having series X that's really heavy uh, that's like more more than five cages so it would be hard to carry around so um, that's my uh, I think that's that's plus point of uh, having series X all right that's all for now uh, now we'll be connecting it with the TV uh, and we'll set it we'll set it up and see how it goes so stay tuned <laughs>